face away Leave the city behind We're on our way to find Hey everyone, welcome to Trail Sage and this week we're talking about the 9.5 inch small rig clamp. Now this is one of those tools that I use in production quite frequently and it makes producing these videos that much easier. The versatility in the movement plus the strength in this clamp makes this really ideal for a lot of situations. Whether you're in the studio and you need a clever way to mount the camera, monitor, or light, or you're out in the field and you need to clamp your GoPro to an object, this small rig will do the trick. But before I start drooling, let's go over the specs. The small rig clamp has two 5 inch articulating arms that measure 9.5 inches total when fully extended. The clamp arms are made with a combination of aluminum alloy and stainless steel and weighs in at about 360 grams. The clamp opens up to 54 millimeters or just over 2 inches and can be adjusted and tightened down using this metal handle. At the end of each arm is a ball joint that swivels with a notch cut out to give you a full 180 degrees of movement on each side. Once you've decided on a position, turn the wing nut located in the middle of the two arms to tighten down the joint as well as both swivels. Removal is just as quick and easy. It's also worth noting if you don't need the clamp, you can detach it and just use the quarter inch screw for whatever you need. Okay, so now that you have the full breakdown, here are the things that I love. Now many of you have already seen my Telesim monopod video, so you already know how much I love simplicity and durability in the products that I use. And this small rig is no exception. Not only is it strong, but it works well in many conditions. But perhaps more importantly, I love how easy it is to set up. Once you have the clamp in place, changing positions merely takes a second. When you're futzing around trying to frame that perfect shot, the last thing you want to be doing is turning a million bolts every time you want to move the camera. Now many of you might be asking, but I have a Gorillapod, so do I really need this? Well, the use case is completely different. Gorillapods are great for getting around strange shapes and objects, but they're kind of hard to secure. Whereas the small rig clamp is great for situations where you have a round object or a flat surface that you can clamp down to to get a steady shot. For instance, if you're in the field and you want to clamp down onto a sign or a bench, or maybe you want to get that cool angle of your drivetrain on your bike, the small rig clamp will hold that position and give you a stable shot. One pro tip here, if you're planning on using the small rig clamp with a GoPro, get yourself a quarter inch adapter just like you see here. It makes attaching and removing the GoPro that much quicker. It also makes the whole rig easier to transport and allows the GoPro to be used in different scenarios, like switching from a chesty mount to the small rig quick and easy. If you're in the studio, these are great for connecting and attaching a variety of objects too. Basically, it'll hold anything that can take a quarter inch screw for up to about 3 pounds or 1.5 kilograms. Transporting this small rig is a cinch because it collapses down quickly to a very manageable size and can be thrown into a running vest or a bike pack easily. So what are my dislikes? Honestly, I don't have any. Now, some might argue it could be the weight, but I prefer to have something constructed of durable parts that I know will stand up in tough environments and situations. Now, I will say that if you are a runner, the weight and rigidity could be an issue. I imagine this thing could be pretty uncomfortable if your vest or waist pack didn't have any padding in the back and every time you took a step you could feel this thing banging into your body, but what's the alternative if you needed a specific shot and the Gorillapod wouldn't cut it? So let's move on to pricing. At $28, this 9.5 inch version of the small rig is an absolute bargain. There's also a 5.8 inch version if you prefer something smaller for about $27. I'll leave links to both below. So if you're looking for a small durable clamp rig to get you that unique shot perspective or a situation where a normal tripod or a gorilla pod won't do, then I highly recommend this small rig clamp. I've been using mine in all kinds of scenarios and conditions for over six months now and I can't say enough about it. Well, that's it for this review. I hope that was helpful to you. If you have any questions or feedback, leave them in the comments below. And if you like the video and you want to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Okay, air conditioner's off. I feel like a million things could go wrong. <laughs> one tip, one pro tip here, if you're planning on using your GoPro, it makes attaching and removing the GoPro that much easier. One pro tip here, if you're planning, <clears throat> it makes attaching and removing this GoPro that much easier. That much quicker. Oh my gosh, Sage. Now I imagine this thing could be pretty uncomfortable if your vest or pretty uncomfortable if your vest or vase.